Now let's move on to the next event in Ijebigbo, where we join the additional family for the burial of their matriarch, Chief Eunice Additional. This is one of those days the addition of family of Ijebubu in Ogun State, southwest Nigeria, had perhaps hoped would never come. It's the day they finally lay to rest their mother, grandmother, and great grandmother, Chief Mrs. Eunice Olakweri Adeshino, who died at the age of 92. Her children are in procession, one of whom is the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akin Miadeshino, who leads the group. On this occasion, the Cathedral Church of St. Matthew or Jowo in the ancient town of Ijebuibo hosts personalities from within and outside the country, all of whom have come to pay their last respects to late Madam Adeshino. Dignitaries who made it to the occasion include the country's Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbaju, former President of Nigeria, Chief Olusha Gwabasonjo, President of Guinea-Bissau, Umoro Sisoko Mbalo, the host Governor, Dakwabi Odun, Governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, President of Dangote Group, Alhaji Aliko Dangote, Executive Chairman of Geregu Power PLC, Mr. Femio Tedola, Chief of Defense Staff, General Lucky Rabo, former governors from across the country, amongst other very distinguished personalities. The funeral service was officiated by the primate of the Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Henry Undukuba. You will always miss her. But the only way you can remember her will be to keep her legacy alive. When you remember Baba Roland and Mama Eunice, the best you can do to honor them is to keep it at this alive. President of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akiumi Adishino, extols the virtues of his dearest mother, recalling her devotion to the service of God and humanity. My dad always said to my mother, the best opportunity you can give somebody is education. And the Lord used to tell us, regardless of our low, humble beginning, education will open up the space for you anywhere in the world. 
I could not have been president of the African Development Bank. I mean, the global African world has been here today, except one man in this town saw the seed to send my father to school. The country's vice president, Professor Yemi Oshimbaju, and the host governor, Dakwa Biodun, also pay glowing tribute to the matriarch of the additional family. As we celebrate her, we also uh, express our deep condolence to the additional family and to all their friends and associates everywhere. We thank God for her life. We thank God that she lived long enough to see her children do well, to see her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren do well. And we thank God that she leaves behind a legacy that is worthy of emulation. Mama was a doting, quintessential mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, the finest symbol of womanhood. She was a teacher. She was a successful entrepreneur and was very industrious from all accounts. Her remains are soon brought to her graveside, where she is finally interred. My parents brought me up, never to think too much of myself in terms of what I've achieved, because I knew we came from very humble beginnings. And for me, the most important thing in life, it's not just the position you occupy, it's what you do with it. And so, I think my mom will look back, look down from heaven. I want her to be proud of me, but I'm living for others, not living for myself. She was a lovely mom, very caring, adorable, very passionate, a Christian. She's a woman of great repute. I'm going to miss her love, her kindness, the way she used to dance, you know, her humility, you know, uh, him singing, she loves singing him so much, and, uh, and I love her, and many things, there are a lot of things that I will miss about her. The reception follows immediately, and more guests join in, including the Emir of Bichi, Nasir Ado Bayero, wife of the presidential candidate of the PDP, Chief Mrs. Siti Abubakar, among others. <laughs> After the funeral rites are over and done with, Sugar Band takes the stand for entertainment. Afro Juju Maestro Sir Shino Peters takes it up from here.
From one song to another, Sir Sheena Peters serenades guests with his evergreen tunes. Born in Ijebuigo on the 3rd of October 1930, the late Chief Eunice Olakweri Folashade Adishino married her husband, Sir Roland Folonshaw Adishino, in 1953. A union that lasted 65 years before he passed on in 2018. Together, they were blessed with four children and many grand and great grandchildren. May her soul Rest in peace. Well, may her soul rest in peace.